What's going on YouTube? This is 007 back at you, giving you a brief update how things are going with the 220 build. Um, so far, so good as far as the stand goes. Stand's looking great. Got partially stand, uh, partially stained. Uh, that's gonna be a beautiful display, a very beautiful display. Um, Give you a quick rundown on the update here on things. Uh, picked up some plumbing supplies today. <clears throat> I need a ton more supplies as far as uh, plumbing parts, but picked up a few things. Kind of rushing on my way to work, but did yeah, pick up a few. Picked up this sand a couple of days ago. Got about six 30 pound bags right there. Brand new sand. It's dry. It's not live. Um, Still debating on how I'm gonna do that as far as my sand goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it, but I would love to use my old sand. I'm just, you know, this is a great opportunity for me to, you know, start things off right. So I might as well do it right, like New York Stilo says. And uh, gotten some mixed reviews on using old sand, but uh, I don't want any chances. I don't want any algae blooms, unnecessary nuisance algae blooms. So. I'm pretty sure, I'm about 90% sure I'm going to use the new sand, but I still need a ton more sand, at least another, probably another six bags to get, get the depth and definition I want in my sand bed, but uh, we'll see how that works, see how deep that is with those six bags and we'll go from there. I will be seeding this dry sand with uh, some of my old sand, I just won't be using all of it, but there you have it baby. It's the 220. There's no water in it. I know you're probably like, why? It's been almost a week. Uh, I ran into a few snags when I was putting this background on. I uh, got the background uh, from the pet store. I think the Ocean View makes it. And I uh, was putting that on and came across a lot of fucking defects. Pissed me off. So this stand will be going. This tank will be going back to the manufacturer. Uh, they've already been contacted. The pet store has been contacted, so we'll be getting a new stand. I mean, a new tank, uh, and starting from scratch. I have to uh, apply the background again, replumb it, and everything else. The overflow boxes, that is. But uh, pretty much, this is it. You know, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, got a few more doodads to put on my stand, uh, and I need to stain my uh, panels there. I'm gonna go with a two-tone look. Uh, all the panels will be a different color. The trim will be a different color. It's gonna look real nice once I trim it up. And, uh, put some handles on it, or might not put handles on it. I might just do some uh, cutouts just to rest your fingers in there and push it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use magnets or clamps or clips to uh, secure it in place, but I might use find some strong push-out magnets that you, you know, find on the glass entertainment doors, get some heavy duty magnet, magnets like that and uh, use those to pop them out, just pick it up, pull it out. But uh, like I said before, I was going to line my bottom with the egg crate, got that all cut out in proportion pretty nicely. Uh, shoot me some comments people, tell me what you think about this. Uh, lining uh, the bottom of the tank with this a crate. I'm not sure how it's gonna interrupt or if it will interrupt the function of my sand bed, but I'm not taking any chances any gouges, scratches uh, by my caused by myself or any other critters that burrow and make tunnels underneath the live rock. You know, shift things around. So paid a nice grip for this. Spent about a stack on this tank and uh, I plan to keep it for a very long time. This tank weighs about 400 pounds and if I ever move, God forbid, you know, it's gonna be a pain again getting it out of here as it was getting it in. But uh, it took about four guys. Fortunately, only two can fit in the doorway at a time, one on each end, so did some quick maneuvering, you know, to switch it around and everything, but we managed, we got it in safely with no damages. However, uh, the reason this tank has no water in it, 
as I was applying the background and wiping the glass off, getting all the extra silicone and uh, dust <clears throat> off of it, cardboard dust off of it, um, I noticed there was a crack. I'm not sure if you can see it real good, but there was a crack in this black molding here. And that was uh, the second defect. The first defect I found when I took the top wrapping off, I noticed that those center braces at the top were bowed down. And I wasn't sure if that was just the way they come or not. Uh, so they didn't really have one at the store that I could really take a look at. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't pay attention to the one that they, the 180 that they had on display at the store. Uh, this tank was ordered because I chose to go with the black silicone. The one that they had at the store had the clear silicone. I went with the black silicone because um, at, over time algae builds up and it just looks very gaudy and ugly to me. And it's black, you can't see it, so that's why I wanted to go with the black. But the third defect I found was there was a small chip about a quarter inch in diameter um, right behind that old four blocks you can't see it from, I don't have enough light into my living room right now but uh, yeah that was a big setback so I'm not taking any chances with this I spent enough money I want my tank as perfect as possible coming out the box and that's what I expect from uh, Marine Land and they've been contacted they're sending me a new tank and they're gonna come pick this old one up and we'll go from there. I'm also hoping that they uh, further compensate me for my time, money, and effort to get this thing home, get it all basically set up and ready to go. And to find these defects were very disappointing. You know, most of my tanks, almost all of my tanks, <clears throat> starting this hobby, uh, saltwater hobby, uh, have been marine land tanks. And even back in the day when I was running freshwater, I used marine land tanks and pumps and hang on the back filters. So I'm hoping they take care of me, people. I really do. But the main thing is that they're taking care of my, me with a new tank. Anything else is just a bonus for my trouble. So um, with my return lines, I added some lock lines, some more links to my lock lines. You can't really see them. Let me get a better view on this side, maybe. But uh, from the factory, they only have about two links on them. And I had some old lock line laying around, so I extended those out a little bit to give me a little bit more spread of my uh, from my overflow of my return flow. A little bit more depth, definition, and depth. And I did that on both sides. But uh, uh, the bottom here. Still have some work to do in the bottom. You know, seeing I have this delay, I got a little bit more time. And I would have done this already, but I picked up some extra shifts. But as you can see, I got a lot of room down there. And I didn't do a center brace in the front. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put one in the back, but I don't want one in the front because of uh, the way my sump is built. And just to have more space. You know, to get in there and move stuff around without bumping into stuff. My sump is 42 inches long by 16, no, by 42 by 18. So I want to be able to put it in from the front. If I would have went through the side, I wouldn't have had enough clearance because I only made my stand basically to fit my tank. I didn't oversize my width because I wanted all of my weight to rest on my four corner supports. And that's how most... Uh, DIYs are done and most manufactured stands are done so try to keep that template by me having a custom sump it kinda went outside of the specs of an aquarium or a manufactured sump so that's another reason why I don't have a center brace in front so I can get my sump in here baby um, the other day I went to the local pet store I was digging around the used sections and came across a couple gems. <clears throat> I know I'm going to use one of them. I'm not sure about the other, but uh, I'll just set this down here for a minute. 
Sorry about that, people, but. There you have it, people. I'm going to try to take some of this light off the exposure a little bit. We have here is an Eheim. I'm not sure what model number, but it's one of the big boys. I think they told me that it was about um, 900 gallons per hour. Model number is a 1260-310. So if you know how many the actual rating for this so if you have one of your, your yourself shoot me a comment let me know what I got this one here the Cedra 5000 <clears throat> uh, used on basically both uh, this one here is basically used on a lot of the reef dynamics and Euro reef uh, skimmers so I already have one one of the newer models so this is basically a backup I might be able to incorporate it to one of my return lines but we'll see let me know what you think I'm not sure the gallon rating on this one is but if you know let me know you know uh, in closing I just want to say to people you know that are in this hobby and on YouTube uh, if you get a comment that you don't like or see something you don't like don't take it to heart people you know most of us that are on these channels are here to help seeking advice or giving advice take it with a grain of salt and keep on pushing you know I get critiques sometimes and you know I don't always agree but I can respect their opinion you know most of the time it's not to degrade me or belittle me because I've only been in this hobby for a year but it's to help me or to educate me or maybe they've been down the road I'm going and I'm about to make a bad turn so take it with a grain of salt keep on pushing you know, if I ever mention something on your, your, your vids and you don't like it, please, I'm going to say this right now. I'm not here to step on anybody's toes. I'm not here to cause anybody any harm. Just take it with a grain of salt. Keep on pushing. If I offend you, you know, by all means, let me know. And, you know, if I'm wrong, you know, I apologize. I got no problem apologizing if I've offended somebody. But I just wanted to put that out there. I think I rubbed somebody the wrong way. I'm not going to put their name out there, but, you know. That wasn't my intent. I was just trying to help. So, there you have it, people. Here's my update. In about a week or so, this baby will be full of water, sand, and rock at least. So, bear with me. I know you guys are kind of anxious, wanting to see what I'm going to be doing. Oh, that's a sneak peek of some little toys I'm going to have going. Might have one, might have two, might have three, might have four. But,. I got a couple of them. Got a lot of little toys I'm going to put in this thing. So keep reefing. Enjoy the hobby like I am, you know. And much love to you, much respect. Please rate, comment, subscribe to my videos. It is deeply appreciated and I appreciate all the love. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Adjuster Frank who recently recently subscribed to my channel and has already shown me mad love with uh more DIY tips, more info, um, just doing a good, great job on educating me further on my build and my videos, and I really appreciate that. Uh, New York Stilo, as always, uh, Money Mark J, uh, has been showing me mad love. There's a couple others, uh, you, uh, Euro Joey, Joey, or you are Joey, uh, guy from Canada, great channel, uh, he's, down with the DIY I want to say DIY uh, aquariums network there's something got to do with DIY but him and his boys or his posse or whatever they got a lot of good information um, I'll try and get you a link to that in my next update and get his name right joy forgive me if I'm chopping up your name and fucking it up but just want to give you some love you know you show me a lot of respect and love so I want to send it right back to you and there are many others that I, you know I can't remember off the top of my head but rate subscribe um, whether you like them or not uh, comment I'm always welcome to comments always welcome to construct constructive criticism so uh, much love and keep briefing and as always 
there's no fishing in my aquariums.